today my Sephora order came and I want to do a lip swatch video with you guys. I recently purchased the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lips value pack. I've never done any of these videos before. Right now I have nothing on my lips except just a little um, lip balm and that's it. So normally my lips have no color basically like it's just a little it's like a gradient lip on its own and outside is like no color so my most favorite makeup products is always lipstick lip gloss lip tint lip anything basically lip stuff my very first makeup product that i ever bought is lipstick yeah lipstick before mascaras or anything like just lipsticks and it still takes me a very long time to put them on because i'm a perfectionist i don't want to go out there with a crooked lip so yeah so there's six colors in here and i want to swatch with you guys i put my mirror light right here so when i'm putting the lipstick on i'm going to be looking here instead of the mirror so fyi let's go First of all, the packaging is so cute. This is actually not my first Sephora Favorites lip value pack that I bought. I bought another one before that I haven't even touched yet. <laughs> Don't judge. But um, I think that these are really, really fabulous that you get to try out um, different color lips products in one go because they're like, I think, miniature size and stuff. And come on, have you ever finished a lipstick before? I haven't. So. Yeah, so there's six, and when you open it, it's like this. There's the products inside, and I have these confetti stuff in there, which I don't like because they're so messy. Based on the cover of the packaging, the Urban Decay one is full size, so... Oh, whoa! <laughs> so, these are all right here. So, like, these are, like, really small small but um, based on the packaging this is bigger already but maybe it's because of the holder but uh, I don't know so I'm guessing I should try from the lightest to the darkest I guess because if they're all nude inside the packaging it's all nude but um, there's different shades of nude here so I'm gonna try the uh, Too Faced oh no this is a lip gloss. I'm confused. Anyways, um, I'll try the Too Faced Lip Injection Glossy. And the packaging is stunning. Especially the one over here has like these beautiful gold detail. It's a Dilfit applicator. Um, there's no color. It's just a lip gloss. And there's a smell to it. I'm not sure what kind of smell and my lips are starting to get hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my lips are getting very very hot at the moment. So this is the Tooth Face Lip Injection Glossy. Whew. When I wipe it off there is color doesn't show that much on my lip. It really burns. Well, at least it made my lip red normally, right? Let's see. Next, I want to try Anastasia Beverly Hills Kristen Lip Gloss. It's another lip gloss. Whoa, it still burns. So it's also a dull fit applicator, but the applicator is like a paddle. It's a flat applicator, if you could tell. Oh my god. draw my lips already. I really like this applicator because it's really flexible when you um, apply the lipstick. I think I went out of line already. Sorry guys if I'm not doing a good job. But um, this is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Kristen Lip Gloss. I actually do really like this color. It's not really a nude on me, it's kind of brown on my lips. 
but I do really really like this one and I don't know why but the toothpaste one is still burning my lips right now way to go for picking that one to go first next is the Tarte Lippy Lingerie and I'm not sure if the color is called Revealed so cute these are so small it's like a chubby stick so it looks like that like a crayon this color actually looks really dark trouble with this color okay the camera overheated and also i don't think i can make it any nicer i don't know whenever i wear a dark lip like this i don't know i feel like my lips are crooked so this is the uh tarte lippy lingerie in the color revealed i think this is not a nude on me definitely not it's really dark and i find it being in a chubby stick like this it's very hard to apply on the edges so i always go out of line so maybe it's just me I don't know. I would wear this color to go out, but not all the time. So I wouldn't consider this a nude for me. Next is the Marc Jacob Sugar Sugar Enamored in Shine Gloss. Also in a uh, doe foot applicator. Basically, um, they cover your lips with a nude gloss for this one. I would put this one on top of other lipsticks that I have. I really do like this one. Sorry, looking at the mirror all the time. It does have a smell. Is it like a minty smell? I'm not sure. I was, don't quote me on this because I can't tell scents to save my life. This is the uh, Marc Jacobs. So far, all the lip products that I tried out in this uh, value pack is very easy to take off. And right now, I'm actually using a makeup wipe and it smells really good. Uh, I don't know what it smells like, but it smells really fresh and it takes off the lipstick so easily. And I'm using the Herb Day Cleansing Tissue from the Face Shop. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Just in case you guys want to know what I was using to uh, take this off. Next is the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the color Bound. This one's so cute, it's so small. It's a doll foot applicator. One bad thing about this is that the stick is so short that when I'm putting this in the mirror, it's like covering my lip. I can't see where am I applying it to, especially when I'm trying to film a lip swatch video. This one has a vanilla scent to it. It smells really good. And also, it's so soft the dofa applicator when i'm putting on my lip it's very similar to the anastasia one with the uh dofa applicator that one's more flexible but this one's really soft it's like a mauvey nude with a little bit of purple in it when i first put it in it's like a grayish purple i really like this one so this is nars for uh the color bound next last but not least is the urban decay vice liquid lipstick in the color trivial so the packaging looks so beautiful and this is a full size it's also a doe foot applicator but this one's different because it's slanted if you could tell and very long Oh my god, I think I saved the best for last. This one is probably my favorite. The applicator in this uh, liquid lipstick is very easy to apply. This color is beautiful. When I was applying it, it looks a little bit metallic. But now when it's dried up, I could tell there's still a sheen, um, metallic sheen to it. I think this is my favorite one and I can't believe this is full size. I. <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> so this is the Urban Decay liquid lipstick in the color tri Trivial. So I have swatched all six colors. And I would say my favorite would be the Urban Decay in the color Trivial. Right now that it has dried down, I actually could see the wrinkles that's on my lips. I'm not sure if you could tell. It emphasizes 
the wrinkles that I have on my lips but um, it doesn't really concern me but it might concern others so FYI and also when I dry down my lips are dry you could feel there's something on your lips like that's drying up your lips so it's pretty drying but it pays to look beautiful right <laughs> either or out of all of them I would say this one is my favorite color the shade is my favorite and my least favorite one will have to be Tarte lippy lingerie in the color revealed not because the color was too dark it was too dark for me as a nude anyway but because the tip of the chubby stick I guess I'm not blessed to know how to use this correctly because I had su such a bad time trying to get it correctly on my lips and also the darker color doesn't suit my lips that well I don't know why I've worn darker lips before and I took an even longer time applying them because it shows all the flaws, all the mistakes, all the outlined part that you applied. So um, yeah, this would be my least favorite one, but um, majority of them I really do love. So in here, I would say that these three show up the most color on my lip. Well, th this one show a lot of color. This is too dark for me, I, uh, for my taste. I think it could still work it. And these other three, they're all my favorite. It's just that this is not my favorite favorite, I guess. This is my first lip swatch video and I had so much fun. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like the swatch video. Should I do more? Because I do, I'm a lippy fanatic. So I have a lot of lipstick, lips, lip products and stuff. So uh, let me know. Thumbs up if you like the video and check out my recent vlog that I posted of Canada uh, which I will card over here and I will see you in my next video bye now I'm curious if it takes off this lip good lipstick let's try it doesn't come off that easily like the others but the others are not lip good liquid lipstick so it does take it off but it's difficult. I'm using like the same, the whole sheet of makeup remover wipes to remove one color. <laughs> no more. So yeah, this does take it off, but you have to make an effort. <laughs>